Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making some cinnabons, cinnamon rolls, whatever you'd like to call them. And this is the first video of food that I'm making where something doesn't come from a box. So first I added two cups of flour and you were supposed to use all purpose flour and I didn't really know what that was because I could only find cake flour and wheat flour and I didn't really know what the difference was and I wasn't smart enough to Google it. So anyway, if this flopped, that's why. Then I added two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder and we usually have the baking powder in a really small container but for this video I decided to use the big packet because that didn't create a mess at all in the kitchen. <sighs> anyway, then I added three tablespoons or four tablespoons, I think it was three, of sugar, just normal plain white sugar. Oh, it was three tablespoons, I was kind of right. Then we added some cinnamon and this by the way is to make the actual like dough of the cinnamon roll added a couple cracks or shakes of salt i don't know what those are called and then i whisked all the dry ingredients together until it was thoroughly combined because um yeah they just needed to be combined then i put some hot water into a pot and I put this metal bowl thingy on top of it. I'm pretty sure in all the cooking shows it's actually a glass thingy, but anyway. Then I added like four scoops of butter, I want to say. Three, um, yeah, it was three. And then I added uh, three quarters of a cup of milk. And then I put the stove on a low heat and I just mixed that until it was combined and until the butter was melted. I really don't recommend doing this on a high heat because I know from past experiences the milk will boil and that just like messes with the recipe and the ingredients so yeah please do this on a low heat if you are gonna do it. Then I put the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and I mixed that with the little wooden spoon that I had because they said not to use a whisk. I assume that's because the batter could get in between the little things of the whisk. I guess, I don't know, I'm not an expert as we know from all my previous videos. And then what I did was, and when it was this consistency, I put some flour on a breadboard so that I could get to kneading and it said not to over knead it and I don't even know what that means because I think the recipe said I needed to knead it for like two minutes and I think this ended up being about two minutes long like this specific clip but I don't know so here's like 30 seconds of me just like kneading dough I guess if you want to enjoy that I felt like I was playing with slime in this video because I used to be so obsessed with slime and this just brought back memories and I just wanted to make like little swirls and like pop the bubbles and stuff like that and now I'm like 17 and not 12 anymore and I don't play with slime anymore I just play with dough yep that's what my life has come to dough then I added a little bit more flour because it said if it's sticky then just add a little bit more flour and so yeah here's what the end kind of texture looked like I guess uh yeah and then I made it into a little ball and it said that we had to leave it to rest for like 15 minutes I didn't really see it rise much but anyway I covered it with a damp uh tea towel or cloth or whatever you want to call it and left it for 15 minutes and while that was happening I decided to make the filling that was supposed to go in between the crevices of the cinnamon bun rolls and so that called for three quarters of a cup of brown sugar with some cinnamon and that's literally all um if you've ever had pancakes which i'm sure 90 percent of the population has this is what you just put on your pancakes so yeah then once the 15 minutes was up i decided to roll out my dough because the recipe did get did give measurements on what size the rectangle for the dough was supposed to be did i measure it no did i end up just going with the flow yes was that probably a bad idea yeah because my little cinnamon buns came out really small but anyway it was still tasted like really really good so yeah then i took some butter which was the other part of the filling and i just painted that onto the actual dough bit and i assume this is just to get the sugar and cinnamon to stick to the actual batter 
and it gave it a really nice buttery taste in the end i guess i suppose um yeah as you can see i'm no artist but this was me just putting this on wax on wax off type jazz then i put the cinnamon mixture onto the batter or the mixture i guess and then i just started to roll that up again so that we could make cinnamon rolls once i did that i cut it into roughly two centimeter thick chunks i would say that was i guess and once i did that i took the very last bit of the butter and i greased the pan because as we know from other videos it's not good to have things stick to the pan and yeah this pan was actually the perfect size i wasn't going to use it initially i was going to use that bigger pan in the background but that didn't really end up working so yeah i just put them in and i made sure that they were all kind of touching and that i could get as many little rolls in as possible then i put it into the oven which i preheated to 180 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit while that was baking i was gonna make the little topping that was gonna going on the top this called for 125 grams of cream cheese which by the way lockdown has inflated prices that cream cheese was so expensive anyway i added butter to that as well which was four teaspoons i think of butter i'll leave the actual recipe in the description below and i used my electric uh, my electric whisk and i put that all together and then i added some pasta sugar and a little bit of vanilla essence just to give it a nice little flavor and then i mixed that together with a spoon because i didn't want to over mix it and it was so thick it was so beautiful <sighs> It was so great anyway when it was done which took about 25 30 minutes i took the cinnamon rolls out and i put them on the stove at the top so that they could cool down a bit but before they cooled completely i decided that i was going to just make sure that all the individual rolls were separated from each other so i just took a butter knife and i went across the little edges and made sure that everything was loose to take out when it was relatively cool. Then, once it was cool, I added my icing on top, which was the literal best thing ever. Oh my goodness, I could have just eaten the icing. It was so great. Ah, oh, loved it. And then, yeah, this was the final result. They were a little bit more cakey than what I wanted them to be, but in the end, they still tasted really, really good. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for carry on watching me and supporting this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and yeah i hope everyone has an amazing day and yeah bye